on the Geek End Live here, let's talk about Star Wars Vision. Spoiler free for anyone who hasn't seen it yet uh, and doesn't know what I'm talking about. There are nine short episodes, standalone stories produced by different anime studios, producers from Japan. And they all got dropped in one nerdy dump on uh, Disney+. Plus. It's like, I think, two and a half hours in total. So it's bingeable. It's totally bingeable. So the only spoiler I'm going to give you is that I know nothing about anime. Yeah, I, I know a bit about Japanese culture from like a tourist travel point of view and working there, working there for a little bit point of view. And the series at the end, as the credits kicks in, each episode tells us that it's inspired by Star Wars. But of course, a lot of Japanese culture, the samurai, Kurosawa movies, you know, the stylistic storytelling vibe of his movies inspired Star Wars or George Lucas to make Star Wars. So it's like full circle, baby. The circle of inspiration is complete uh, with this series. And um, while it mostly involves new characters that we may never see again, there are many uh, familiar themes from the heart of Star Wars, like uh, in the opener, the jewel, which centers around a jewel. You've got underdogs facing up to uh, the evil oppressors. There's a lot about the Jedi, the Sith, family, lightsabers. In fact, there's a crazy amount of lightsabers. There's even like a, a saber umbrella uh, in, in the jewel which was pretty uh, pretty mad. Uh, sticking with the duel, which was one of my favorite episodes. I uh, didn't like them all. I'll come on to that. Ronan was cool in the duel episode. A lot of uh, a lot of mystery uh, around him. Is he a Jedi? No. Well, he must be a Sith then. Hmm, well, apparently not. Um, and I wondered afterwards: is there is there more info out there uh, that I haven't seen? I don't know about. And then I start to think. I don't want there to be. I don't care if there is. I really love the mystery. The mystery is enough, is interesting enough for me. But then I've since seen that there's like going to be a novel. There is a novel coming out about the characters in the duel, which presumably will involve Ronan. Luckily, I don't read anyway. So uh, the mystery will remain for me unless uh, one of you ruins it, spoils it for me. Um, there are some familiar faces in Tatooine Rhapsody. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the Force Lightning? You get a Boba uh, and Jabba cameo. They feature, but they're not the main uh, characters. I guess the main takeaway from Visions is, again, they're standalone stories, and there is so much variety. They're all very different. I mean, there's some themes, especially watching them all back to back. There are some blurring of themes, but... Uh, visually, at least, they all feel very uh, different, and that's probably thanks to using different studios. You know, the the and the art style, the uh, the visuals and the sounds as well are so good. Uh, I really like the way things looked very Japanese. I assume very anime, but of this, but at the same time, it still felt like Star Wars. You know. Um, and one thing I'm going to say as well, uh, for the full experience of taking it in, you know, this familiar but new thing, I recommend trying the Japanese audio with the English uh, subtitles. Depending on your concentration levels, I didn't do this for all of the episodes. And you are going to miss out on uh, some great uh, acting talent as well, uh, English-speaking acting talent, David Harbour in The Elder, Lucy Liu in The Jewel. Uh, but I don't know, it just gives you, it just makes it feel even more different and, and unique. Uh, so give that a go if you haven't already. Uh, overall, my thoughts, uh, look, I'm not inspired to go off and uh, explore more anime. I'm not. Uh, some episodes really worked for me. Some didn't quite uh, work for me. I liked uh, three episodes a lot. Uh, the Ninth Jedi, the Jewel that I mentioned, the, the visual style of the Jewel was just was just awesome. What a great opener. Uh, and also the Elder. The episodes do get weird, and that's the beauty. You know, uh, they, they can. The creators were free to do what they want, free from the shackles of what's come before. The canon, the Skywalker name. And I'm good with that format. As an aside, yeah, I like having something that we don't have to compare, even though we will, because we're Star Wars fans, we don't have to compare to anything that's come before you know just take it for what it is like marvel's what if i'd love a star wars version of that but this is probably the closest uh we're gonna get for a while if it's a second season i'll be there i'll watch them equally i'm not that asked 
for more. It was it was enjoyable. It was fun. It was unique. I think it's something that Star Wars, a direction Star Wars, should go off and do more of. You know, in terms of non-canon material, some episodes were great. Some episodes for me were just a bit meh. So let me know what you think. Uh, what was your favourite? Let me know in the chat or in the future comments as well. <laughs>